This video is going to show how we do a deciduous canine extraction in a dog and it's also going to demonstrate a lot of the principles that we use when we're doing simple extractions in general. So you can see the placement of that Luxator elevator. I'm using it to dig between the tooth and the bone and I'm now using just real steady pressure, not putting a lot of pressure on that torque movement and holding it for about 15 seconds. And what that's going to do, it's going to wedge that tooth away from the bone on the side that I'm working and it's going to expand the bone on the side that we're pushing toward. And if we do that in multiple locations, in this case we're going to do it in four locations, then we'll get enough mobility where we can put on those extraction forceps and extract that tooth. And you see how I'm digging that in with that wiggle movement and I'm pushing that apically. That's the movement initially to get that luxator elevator down in, but then now we're using that torque and hold, putting constant pressure on that and progressively using more pressure. We're also using the blade of that instrument to kind of push that tooth out, as you can see I'm doing there at the tip. So now we're going to use a periotome. So a periotome is flat. It's not as sharp as a scalpel, but it can be used as a luxator type approach to get down in and sever the periodontal ligament, especially on the flat surface of a tooth like the deciduous canine tooth in the dog where palatal and vestibular and lingual and vestibular that tooth is fairly flat. So you can see that instrument's flat. We're going to dig it in down between the bone and the tooth here on the vestibular side as well. I'm going to get pretty aggressive. I don't recommend that you get that aggressive unless you've had some experience using this. And as we did on the palatal side, we're also using it kind of as a luxator as well in that we're pushing palatal now and keeping it in for a period of time. Now we've got enough mobility where we can use those extraction forceps, pull mostly with a little torque, and there you have it. 